My caffeine addiction problem is almost as serious as your beer and whiskey addiction problem. Really? That bad? Well, maybe not that bad. Okay. Where can I, where can I stop for a pee? Gavin's got a tiny English bladder and he needs to go wee wee. So go ahead and talk to me because you're going to be filmed from all angles now. This is not appropriate filming. This better be a long one too because if it's just a couple of drops, I'm going to be very disappointed in you, Gavin. Still going, not bad. 25 seconds. How many shakes is play with yourself? More than three. I think I got some on my sandals. <laughs> um, you got jackets and stuff because yeah. I'm guessing it's going to be f cold. Up. Yeah, I've got appropriate footwear, which is flip flops. Yeah, that's good. So I'm here in Moab, Utah, in my vehicle. I have Mike Taylor, the ast up? astrophotography extraordinaire. And in the back, I've got Raphael from Photo Pills. The Bard. Yeah, the Bard. Yeah, yeah. We've got. Thomas Heaton, Hi. we've got Ryan Smith and David Akubian. So the whole bunch of us on Thomas Heaton's idea, we're gonna go to the La Salle Mountains to see if we can get some gorgeous fall colors. Is it aspen trees? Aspens. To get us there and to get us back, Mike Taylor has brought some uh, trail lube. You wanna show us that trail lube, Mike? This? <laughs> <laughs> or this? <laughs> This is the first day though, the conference is finished, this is the first chance we've had to go out and shoot as a group with just the instructors. So hopefully we're going to have a blast and we're going to get some good pictures. And if we don't have a blast, we're going to get blasted. Or both all at the same time. <laughs> so Mike, what has been the highlight for you on this, uh, this conference? Meeting you. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> so let's talk a bit more about photo pills then. So when you're planning a shoot, when you're planning an astro shoot, is that your go-to app then, or what? Yeah, pretty much. I've been doing this for a few years, so I'm, I'm pretty sure I know where the Milky Way is going to be. But yeah. if I'm in a new spot and I, and I really want to try to figure out um, what time to be there, that kind of thing, then the augmented reality yeah. using photo bills is just brilliant. So what version are you on now? Uh, on uh, iOS 2.8.1. So. Five years improving. Nine five years. years. Yes. Five years. So you were you were thinking about this a long time ago, Raphael. What's this man? <laughs> Though that is what is affectionately known in Canada as shit tickets. Yeah, because it's, it's partially used. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, tickets. just in case. Uh, also known as mountain currency. And so off to the mountain we headed. Tom said he'd been and checked out this location a few days earlier and he was keen to get back there after this fresh dusting of snow. In all my years of visiting Moab, I'd never ventured into the mountains that often feature as a backdrop to my images, so I was excited to see this. In just 45 minutes, we reached Warner Lake Campground where Mike made sure we all had some trail lube. So I'm up here in the foothills of the La Salle Mountains in Moab. It's a spot that I've never been to before because usually you go there to shoot the archers and the, the rocks. So this is quite a nice departure from all of that red. We've got snow up here, it just snowed in the last few days and there's this massive dusting of snow and everything which contrasts beautifully with the bright yellow aspens. Uh, but this is kind of like my, uh, this type of photography is my Achilles heel. Like I, I'll go into the forest and I'll, I literally can't see the wood for the trees. It's very hard to find a composition. So what you kind of do is stroll around and you wait for the light to hit a particular section and that usually dictates where you're going to shoot. So right now I'm shooting this fence simply because it's, it's got these backlit aspens in the background and I like that little contrast, especially with the snow. So. I'm trying a few shots, I'll show you what I got if it turns out to be any good. Well the light was good and the colours were great, but it wasn't much of a composition. So I went in search of bigger fish and it didn't take me long to find a killer shot. Well this has turned out quite pretty. Um, I was struggling at first to find the wood for the trees, you know, a shot that reveals itself. Walked around, did, did a whole loop, didn't quite find anything. And then just as I got to the other side of this pond here, or I don't know if it's a lake, uh, Look at this gorgeous bit of light on this peak, the reflections, the way that the sun is hitting that ridge of aspens there. Absolutely gorgeous. So as you can see, crazy high dynamic range. So I'm going to bracket my shots and I always bracket my shots manually. Are you going to walk into my shot right now? Hey everyone. Hi, this is Chris Smith from the uh, Out of Chicago conference. That's right. We just finished out of Moab. Now we're shooting this beautiful scene. So I've just framed up this gorgeous shot. I've got this beautiful little space all to myself. It's super tranquil. I've got this gorgeous reflection. I'm bracketing. I'm going to get this. 
You, you don't mind, do you? I, just, just, I, you don't mind, do you? Uh, just a picture. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. take a picture. Oh, okay, yeah. This is a great shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good shot, yeah. Well, it looks like I must have chosen a, a good spot because look at all this <laughs> riffraff that's just showed up. I've got, look, full tripod penetration right there. I've got, I've got Chris, I've got, I've got Mike Taylor, I've got Ryan Smith. Ryan, are you going to get right in front of me? Sure. <laughs> this is a good spot. This is a good good spot, spot right there. I actually thought they were joking, but look at this. Unbelievable. How is an artist of my caliber expected to work under these conditions? David, you might as well come and join us and get, get a, a five sum going. <laughs> is this Mesa Arch right now? <laughs> well, in spite of all the shenanigans, I did get this one good shot. And if I get one good shot from a shoot, I'm a happy camper. So this is the problem when you shoot with other photographers and you commit yourself to one shot. I'm bedded down now and I'm kind of trapped in this one spot. But then all these guys are getting all these killer shots in the background. I'm wishing I brought my second camera and my second tripod, but I haven't, so bollocks. Cheers guys, cheers. Shots! It's funny because all of my videos have drinking in them. People can think I'm an alcoholic. You're not? Drinking every time. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. By the way, if you fancy coming out and shooting on location with me, I'm leading a workshop in the Faroe Islands. We'll be shooting spectacular waterfalls that pour off of dramatic cliffs into the ocean. Coastal seascapes that are just going to blow your mind cultural historic landmarks, endless mountain vistas, surreal island landscapes with lots and lots of green. Hope to see you there. Okay, back to the video. Oh, and like and subscribe if you would. So as usual, I've spent the bulk of my time here shooting a, a wider scene, but it's always important to remember those, those tighter crops, those longer, focal lengths that really pick out those details and this copse of uh, aspens is really catching this afternoon light in a pleasing way so I'm using a much longer focal length I'm using a zoom lens and I'm isolating a detail that's beautiful and contrasty and colorful completely different to my shot earlier so it's always good to remember to uh, to look at things from a totally different perspective strap on a different piece of glass and try and get at least one other shot So I'm pretty much done here up at Warner Lake, so we're all going to head back to the car park, get in the cars, head back to Moab and then pick a beautiful spot for sunset. So hopefully we'll get some more killer shots. See you soon. Describe for me an English breakfast. A full English breakfast. A full English breakfast. A full English will be uh, bacon, sausage, egg, usually fried, ba baked beans, toast and black pudding. Black pudding. Is that like blood pudding? Yeah, that's congealed animal blood. That's what I thought. That's been fried. <laughs> nice. What? It's delicious. I love it. Yeah, it's fantastic. Now, in Scotland, you get a full Scottish breakfast. This is looking good. And that it's the same thing really, but they add on a bit of haggis, a bit of fried haggis at the end, haggis. which is delicious. I do feel bad about all those haggis that get shot and killed. Yeah, it's tough. It's brutal. Yeah. They're endangered now. Yeah, they are, actually, yeah. Haggis. You know what the American breakfast is, according to everybody else on the, on the planet, well, pretty much. A couple of eggs, about 14 strips of bacon, <laughs> and a f***ing handgun. <laughs> right, you mean compared to England, where you guys have no f taste whatsoever. What? <laughs> I agree with that. That's bullshit, right? Idiot. Fish and chips, brilliant. <laughs> oh my gosh. If fish and chips wasn't so good, why would North America adopt fish and chips so prevalently? got me there. When you get fish and chips, do you have bits? Like fish and chips with bits. You know what that is? Yeah, but no, no, okay. You don't? Well, then it's crap. That's what I'm going to like that. Bits is. You know when you you fry the fish yeah. in the batter, yeah. all the little bits of batter oh, that come off the feet. side, yeah. they, they scoop them out and put them to the side so that when you've got your fish and chips, they then sprinkle the whole thing with bits. Uh, it bits. is delicious. So 
you're getting some good shots, Chris. Are you recording this? Yeah. Oh, yes, I'm getting great shots. They're amazing. Yeah, I mean, yours were okay too. Uh, are they better than mine? Yours were fine, I said. <laughs> so, Chris, this was a great conference. It was a major success, yep. the Out of Moab. What's up for next year? Next year, we're going to the Oregon coast, Newport, Oregon. Yep. So, out of Oregon. It's October 13th through the 17th. It's going to be a ton of fun. We got a lot of the same instructors coming back, some new instructors. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's just great to get out with uh, some amazing landscape photographers in these great locations. What kind of stuff is it going to be? Astro, sunrise, sunset, what is it? So we're going in the full moon, so not so much astro, yeah. although that may be a different event at some point. Yeah, yeah different out of something. Uh, we could, out of this world for the astro, <laughs> how's that? Uh, good. Yeah, no, so we'll be shooting on the beaches, we'll be shooting the waves crashing up, we'll be shooting uh, in the rainforest, we'll be shooting down, uh, you know, in the tide pools and all that, so all sorts of stuff. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. Sounds pretty sweet. So where, where do people find out about that? Outoforegon.com. Sounds sweet. That's it. All right, mate. See you there.